Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about the very best NASes of this year that support 2.5 and 5 GBE. Now this may seem like a weird topic to touch on and I completely understand that. This year has been the birth of more and more NASes supporting 2.5 GBE and 5 GBE as their standard NAS connection. You know, you look more than a year ago this, this wasn't even a thing that we talked about. There weren't any NASes that arrived with 2.5 or 5 GBE. You either got 1 GBE or 10 GBE as standard with a big price difference between them. But if, of all the things that have come out of 2019, we are seeing a great deal more solutions, both in terms of switches, NAS, routers and more, that are kind of plus gigabit devices. These are devices that arrive with standard network interface ports that support greater speeds than that of 100 meg but don't affect the price or if they do the smallest amount because technology is growing around us all the time and we're seeing that the need for data is growing all the time the speed at which we want data is got to be ever the faster our patience is getting bloody well smaller and in order to facilitate these demands Things like network attached storage devices and our data repositories need to be able to be faster. Asking everyone to upgrade to 10 gigabit Ethernet in one jump, as much as I think you should do that, is still just going to cost too much for some people. And with NAS devices being released at the end of 2019 and the start of 2020, from big brands like Synology, QNAP, Acer Store and more, we are seeing that one of the ways in which they are improving on their predecessors is these better network interface ports. Other things have allowed this to happen, such as the birth of Wi-Fi 6 being, you know, a Wi-Fi 6 802.11ax, a new improved, um, pretty much 4.8 gigahertz, uh, gigabit per second connection uh, to your wireless network, you know, 4.8 times that of 1GBE is pretty impressive and the fact that lots of brands have now uh, that make network appliances have all decided yes we're going to get involved in this means that it is only going to get bigger and better and lots of NAS brands have jumped on this so at the start of this year there were zero 2.5 and 5GBE NAS solutions now at the end of the year it numbers around 30 to 35 different solutions currently available this is going to multiply heavily next year with the release of new QNAPs and new Synologies and new Acer stores. And I reckon that number is going to be between 100 to 150 different variants. So if you are looking to buy NAS right now, with all these increased switches and routers coming out there with better LAN ports, it is now the time to consider these increased Ethernet connections and why my top three is happening today. <clears throat> so my first solution is going to be one for the business users because Regardless of network connectivity, if you're not ready to make the jump to 10 GBE and you're looking at 2.5 and, and 5 gig, uh, gigabit Ethernet solutions for a business, chances are you just want it for backups. You just want to have a rugged, reliable, secure storage space that you can send all your data to and you're not that fussed about proprietary applications that are a bit showy. Step forward, the Buffalo Ter Ter um, Terra Station 3200 series. Arriving in two and four bay devices in rack mount and desktop form, this NAS arrives with 2.5 GBE ports. It also arrives with an Annapurna Bay CPU inside and is pre-populated and arrives with three years of manufacturer's warranty. Now, I've talked about Buffalo on this channel before. Their chassis is insane. Behind me here is the two bay Terra Station 10 GBE solution and it is a beaut. It is metal in design and I know a number of you may be put off by that because of the potential vibration noise which is small but noticeable in close proximity but in terms of rugged architecture and hardware construction it is still one of the best NASs out there. There is a filter, a filter panel built into the front. The whole front of the device is key locked and with each tray with its own LEDs and ventilation built in and with pre-population options available, meaning you can make savings on the storage it arrives with. On the rear, uh, you have got a ventilation port built in and 1 GBE and a 2.5 GBE port as standard. Now, the software inside the device may seem a little bare bones, particularly if you're a Synology or QNAP user that's used to all of the little applications and all that stuff that make up a more modern commercial NAS. But this is a business solution 
for business users that are looking to invest in 2.5 GBE technology. Maybe they've got an, a switch or router that has 1 GBE and 2.5 GBE, 5 GBE and 10 GBE, and they are looking to bolt on a solution where they need better than 1 GBE, but not earth-shatteringly great. And given that it arrives at an exceptionally affordable price pre-populated, that's why it's in my top three of the year. But let's talk about some of those fully featured solutions. And let's talk about two um, gigabit plus solutions that arrive with loads of apps. Let's talk about one of the first brands, and by one of, I mean the first brand to embrace 2.5 GBE and 5 GBE solutions. I want to talk about the Nimbus Store series from Acer Store. The Nimbus Store 2 and 4, and I'm going to focus mainly on the 4 in this video, really, really took me back. It is a great solution that arrives with a myriad of um, advantages, not just the LAN port, but on the subject of the LAN, it arrives with two 2.5 GBE ports. There are no 1 GBEs here, they've gone straight to the 2.5 GBE mark and two ports that can be lag, link aggregated or lagged port trunked, depending on what you want to call it, and give you 5 GBE network connectivity. It also arrives with one of the first instances of the J4115 CPU, a 4K enabled quad core Gemini Lake processor. It also arrives with four gig of DDR4 memory that can be upgraded officially to eight gig and an HDMI 2.0 A port. What I'm saying is this NAS, the Nimbus Store 4, supersizes a number of things, not just those LAN ports, and even arrives at a price that is competitive against 1 GBE solutions from QNAP and Synology, like the 453BE and the DS918+. Plus. It arrives, in most cases, lower in price than those. And it has supersized ports, connection, CPU and memory all inside. And that's why, if you're looking for a 2.5 GBE solution with the option to lag to 5 GBE, the Nimbus Store 4 is a great NAS from Acer Store. You can, it arrives unpopulated, so you can add drives gradually as you so choose, and the drives that you want to use, up to 16 terabytes per bay. On top of that, the device arrives with the great ADM software that although isn't quite up there with Synology and QNAP, it is getting increasingly close with support of BTRFS as a file system of choice, as well as EXT4, surveillance applications, Plex Media Server support, virtual machine support, snapshots, the works. It is a great solution that is easily the most affordable on this list, but it's not the most powerful, which leads me to my third solution. This is the recently released, I believe about six, seven weeks ago now, so it's still in the time limit, the TVS 672N and 872N from QNAP. Wowza. Now, these are some good devices. They're not the cheapest, arriving at around a grand, 1100 to start with, but this i3 quad-core 8th generation processor-powered NAS with DDR4 memory, 5 GBE as standard and 2 PCIe slots is a beast. There's a 6 and an 8 bay version. There's also HDMI um, 2.0, which is a 60 frames per second 4K output. There's USB, USB ports are plenty, supporting USB 3.1 Gen 1 and USB 3.1 Gen 2, which means 10 gigabit connectivity to that USB for external devices and compatible external uh, devices. But remember, the NAS is still the host. It also has two PCIe slots for adding 10 GBE ports, more 5 and 2.5 GBE ports with their own range of cards coming out, and SSD caching cards. On top of that, the 6 and 8 bay RAID enabled device <clears throat> also arrives with two NVMe ports inside for SSD caching or raw storage, which means you can create two separate pools of storage if you choose for the hard drives and the SSDs inside. Separate areas of storage that can be accessed both via 1 GBE and 5 GBE and adding more ports over PCIe. In terms of software, it has the most applications of any of the brands I'm talking about today. You've got everything from photo recognition in QMaggie, which recognizes faces, things, items, and more with AI deep learning. There's a surveillance application in QVR Pro with eight camera licenses. 
virtualization station for your VMs, container station for your micro uh, virtual environment, sandbox type stuff, Linux station, um, container station, hybrid backup, sync three. You have an enormous degree of applications for both the home and the business user all included in this device. And next year, with the rollout of QTS Hero, the ZFS file system, this device is going to be supported, which means next year you can utilize this device with the ZFS file system, with all of its background integrity checks, all of its faster RAID rebuilding, data coalescing, data caching, better compression techniques, uh, deduplication, and more. And easily why it's my favorite 5 GBE solution of this year and why it's in my top three 2.5 and 5 GBE solutions to look out for at the end of 2019 and the start of 2020. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Do click like if you have and do visit the NAS Compare article in the description where I detail all of the solutions I talked about today and more information about the software, the hardware and where to buy. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.